Hello YouTube, it's Tony, and welcome to episode 6 of my free-to-play flipping series using the GE only. As you can see right here, this is 33 Heart of Ice, meaning that I've had this account for 33 days. Hopefully in this episode, I'll be able to get 15 mil. So somebody suggested this in the comments, and it was fine cloth. While it's accessible in the free-to-play world, but look, they're selling for way under GE price. Wow. This is a really large margin. Wish me luck getting this then. Yeah, for some reason, none of my offers are going anywhere. My Rune Knight's not selling at all. The Springs aren't buying at all. And yeah, someone suggested the fine cloth. And while the margin is really big, but like it's not even buying at all. Well, barely buying at least. Yeah, it's funny how at least 10 times somebody tested an offer on me. You know, by instantly trying to buy it at this price. As you can see right here. I mean, I did sell 100 of these, but at least 11 times somebody tried to instantly buy it and then sell it. Yeah, for the Dragon Bones, I really thought it's going to be a very fast trade, especially considering the margin's very slow right here, as you can see. Come on, 4 GP profit margin, and yet it's still taking that long to sell. I thought when margins are lower, they actually take a lot faster to trade, but I guess it's not the case, eh? Well, I was able to sell both the Gold Bars and Dragon Bones, both almost at the exact same time. Yes, finally. Anyways, I'm just going to buy Magic Note Papers overnight as an offer. So overnight I was able to buy the springs but I wasn't able to buy any magic note paper so yeah I'm just gonna sell this for 4102. So I'm back home and all my magic note paper bought but like my springs just aren't selling at all for some reason I don't know. But maybe the price really did drop for springs then. Yes yeah, for my fine cloth well they're slowly slowly buying but I guess it's not even worth the wait. So I'm just gonna cancel this offer then. Yeah, I haven't really been checking my flips, but this is what I got so far. Well, the springs just aren't selling, but the magic note paper sold already. And yeah, I'm just going to buy more magic note paper then as an overnight flip. So I haven't checked on this account for a day or so, but here's what I get so far. Well, I bought these magic note paper and I don't know how much I'm going to sell them for. As for the springs, eh, they're not even moving at all. I, just, I guess maybe I could sell them for 3944. We'll see about that. But I highly doubt that because for some reason they're probably crashing at this moment. Oh wow, it actually sold almost instantly when I tried to put this offer here. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, well, even though I sold most of them for that price, but still, I made profit off of that anyways. Okay, that was actually quite dumb to undercut because look, the instant buy price was just only 1 GP under how much I originally wanted to sell it for. Okay, so I just logged in to check my flips. Well... The magic note paper just isn't selling at all, but the springs have actually sold. So someone was suggesting me to buy Mithro 2H for 4.5k and then sell it for 6k. Not something I'd normally do, but let me just give this a shot and see if it actually does buy. Okay, I know I did instantly buy these at that price, but let me see if I can really sell for, I don't know, 5,500? Like, I don't... Actually, I'm going to go for 6,000 all the way just just because I don't like undercutting other people. Wow I was able to buy all these and sell these for 6k each and there's my magic note paper transaction yeah let me just try to continue selling them for 6k yeah look right here look as you can see right here wow that's actually pretty nice I got oh my god there it is I sold the rest of my mithril swords as you can see right here yes this YouTube comment was right he is correct that you can actually get a really good margin out of this. Pretty much just create your own margin basically. Thanks so much. Haha. <laughs> you know what? For my overnight flip, I'm just gonna buy magic note paper and yeah, I'm gonna try buying at least 1.5k of them. And I wake up but nothing has bought at all. Okay. Uh these days. Okay, so I did instantly buy the Mithro 2H sword and yeah, I bought them for like 4.3k each. Let me see if that actually still can sell for 6k. I'm feeling really, really confident it will. Yeah, I'm going to try Addy Ores, and yeah, they do have a pretty good margin, but I really hope I don't get like tricked that, you know, it doesn't sell or buy for that price anymore. Okay, so let's see what I get after coming back home. Okay, so I bought all the Magic Note Paper, and I also sold the... Admin tight ores, well, these mithril swords aren't selling at all, but hopefully I'll just wait a while and yeah, 
Let's just hope they'll actually sell. I forgot to report my progress, but basically I bought the springs, only 210 of them, and I actually sold them overnight for 3968 as you can see right here. As for the Mithro 2H, well, it's not moving at all, but hopefully it should be able to move maybe later tonight. And yeah, I'm just flipping magic notepaper quickly as my active flip. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel my offer right now because I waited an hour, but it stopped moving. Yeah, 8,800 of these for a 13 GP profit margin is actually pretty good to be honest. Yeah, I guess I'll start trusting Dragon Bones again. <laughs> Okay, so this offer didn't even move for 3 straight hours, and yet, it took me quite a while to buy these for this price. I don't know why, but for some reason, it just changed the margin. Like now, I, I pretty much lost profit, 2 GP profit. I know it's not a lot, but still, I just hate it when this happens with flipping. So I sold my springs and my blue dragon hides, and as you can see, this wasn't a really good flip, like, I lost money on the blue dragon hide, Although the spring was actually pretty decent. As for the Mithro 2H, well, it's been sitting there for like 3 days and it hasn't even moved at all. I think I'm just gonna like save this offer for one more day before I just change it and then cancel it. Either way, and I'm at 10 mil plus maybe I'll get 4 mil more from this which would add up to 14 mil. Okay, so there we go. I sold the Dragon Bones and yeah, the first batch of like 7,000 actually sold pretty fast. But after that, it took me 2 hours to sell the rest. But I still got a 7 GP profit margin, which still isn't really that bad to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna do Dragon Bones for flipping, and yeah, as you can see right here, there's a 20 GP profit difference, and yeah, I really hope it actually doesn't take that long to sell. Just hopefully it's not too good to be true either. As for my Mithro 2H, well, here I just changed the offer to 4.8k because I left it for 6k for a couple days, yet it didn't sell at all. I think I instantly bought this for this price on my main account. So yeah, let me just give this a shot and let's see how long that's gonna take. Okay, so I woke up and let's see what I sold. Well, I sold all the springs and let's see, okay. I even sold most of the Mithril 2H swords and yeah, that's pretty nice, okay. Yeah, I also bought some magic notepaper as well. All right, so there we go. I sold the Mithril 2H and the magic notepaper and let's see where I'm at. Okay, 11 mil, but I'm just buying the springs, so yeah, I'm gonna probably get 15 mil after this flip, or even 16 mil. Yeah, so I decided to cancel the spring offer because the margins aren't even that big, and I kind of want to end that episode anyways, because yeah, haven't uploaded in a week. And here we go, we have 16 mil, which is more than I anticipated. So this concludes episode 6 of my flipping series. Now, I was a lot more passive than before, but I did gamble a couple of times. Especially with the Mithril 2H sword, I actually left that for way too long. I mean, it was very interesting to try it out at first. To be fair though, I doubt high margin items are going to actually stay there for a long time. But it was definitely worth a shot, so thank you to that YouTube comment that suggested this. I might not try this out in the future because yeah, this one took me like 5 days to sell or something. Alright, so I know that this episode was much shorter than my previous episodes, but that's because I mostly didn't record my progress, as well as a couple of my clips were actually corrupt so I ended up having to delete them. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope I see you next episode.